Hello, all of you. Today we will be discussing about the examination handbook, which was released by IFA for the September 24 examinations. So you all have to read this handbook very nicely. However, uh, in today's session, I will be quickly guiding you all um, on the very important topics which are there. So starting with the um, Exam format is something which all of you know about. Uh, the duration for paper A is 3 hours 20 minutes. Duration for paper B is um, 1 hour 50 minutes. However, just keep this thing in mind that for CP3 examination, the duration is 3 hours 5 minutes. They have like uh, this increased this five minutes for uploading and uh, for down downloading uh, time, but it's, yes, it's included within the typing uh, time as well. So basically, what they mean by this is, if your exam is starting as let's say suppose at one p.m. IST, so uh, at exact one p.m. you will download your file. Uh, which is your exam file or it's a zip folder if it's paper B they might give you certain files um, you have to download that unzip it unzip is something which is extremely important if you don't know how to unzip any file I have discussed in all my classes so you all might be knowing this so unzip the file start work and then start working on it one small change that they have made for this time is that they will be giving you the answer templates so basically you don't have to create your own word file most probably this is what they have mentioned over here um, it's not very much clear but that is what i have understood by reading this document is that they will be giving you a word file you have to download the exam paper word file i think that will be coming in a form of a zip folder download the zip folder unzip it in that word file you have to start doing all the workings earlier what we used to do is we used to at 1 pm we used to download our uh, paper and then create a new word file start working on it because timestamp is something which is very um, important in your exam they will check the timestamp whether it is so if it's if it's starting at 1 pm then it is ending at uh, 2 3 4 4 um, 20 right the exam will end at 4 20 so they will check the timestamp whether the uh, last modified and time created is between your 1 p.m. and 4.20 p.m. Right. So this is something that they were seeing, but maybe they will be giving you answer templates from this term onwards. So you have to work in that answer template only. So they will check the last modified time. It should be within these three hours, 20 minutes or one hour, 50 minutes or uh, three hours, five minutes, whatever it is in your case. Um, what I suggest students is that when you when you see that two, three minutes is left for the exam to end, make sure you put a timer five minutes before. So uh, timer is always a very safe side, safe option. If you just overlook the time, then you can put a timer, uh, basically an alarm you can put at five minutes before your ending time. And then you can start saving and closing your work and start uploading. You will get additional 30 minutes to upload your work, but I think you should not use the 30 minutes. You should start uploading it before this time only, just before, like just five minutes are left, save it, close it and start uploading. Because even if it's one second extra, last modified, they will give you a mail. They will send you a mail after the exam ends, which is not a good thing, right? So make sure you keep this in mind and uploading is very important. Uh, in last five minutes, anyways, you are not going to write a lot of things. So it's always better to be safe. Right. So this is a basic process. Uh, two weeks before the exam, uh, I will discuss these things individually below. Uh, this is a checklist which they have made. So it's very good. You all can keep this with yourselves and you all can make sure that you are checking through all the boxes. You have done all the necessary requirements um, in this uh, very, very important C. So basically, um, now we will start with the, yeah. So this is also one uh, thing that you need to make sure that you, uh, your primary contact details, basically your mail ID, which is given in the IFA um, login uh, portal, that should be same as the email which you are using on a daily basis which because two weeks before the exam 
you will be receiving a mail from IFA, uh, which will be the joining instructions, like the portal. It will be on the portal where the examination will be conducted. So make sure you go uh, in the My Account section of IFA, log in over there, and check whether the mail ID which you have given over there is the mail ID which you are using on a regular basis. These are a few mail IDs which uh, IFOA uses to send uh, all the communications. So make sure you all uh, mark it safe or you all can just put these uh, mail IDs in the safe centers portion uh, so that these are not going in the spam box. Right? This is also the fifth mail ID. So these are the five mail IDs you can keep a track on. They will be sending all the messages, exam related messages, mails from these given mail IDs, right? Uh, these are a few software related requirements. MS Office should be minimum 2013 version. If you're using any Microsoft uh, Word or Excel of any older versions, please make sure you upgrade it. Very, very important. And uh, internet connectivity is mostly required when you are downloading and uploading the paper but i will say having continuous internet connectivity is obviously a good thing um time and date which is mentioned is mentioned in the uk timing so make sure you convert it whenever your start timing for example if they say 8 am is the start time we are four and a half hours ahead of uk um so it will be for us uh 9 10 11 12 it will be 12.30 p.m. IST and this is IST and this is your UK timing. So the exam timings, the slot which is mentioned is in UK time. You need to convert it into uh, by adding four and a half hours to it. You have to convert it into IST. We are always, whether it's April attempt or it's a September attempt, we are always four and a half, half hours ahead. Always I have seen there is a confusion among students of five and a half hours. That's a daylight saving, which does not fall into April and September term. It starts in October and it ends in March. So for April and September, both these terms, we are always four and a half hours ahead of UK. So it's always 4.5 hours, right? Um, so these zip folders, I have already uh, mentioned this before. Now, uh, they're two weeks before your examination. This is two weeks prior to the first day of the examination. So if, for example, the first exam of IFOA September term is starting from, let's say, suppose uh, 10th of September, then two weeks before that, exactly for all the papers, you all will receive a mail that will be the joining instructions. There will be a um, properly the steps will be laid out there will be a link you have to click on that link it will take you another page wherein you will have to put in your arn your mobile number when you put your mobile number an otp goes into your mobile number you have to put the otp there that's the double step verification two step verification and then after that you need to create your password make sure you remember your password or you can save it your password in that google chrome itself so that again and again and again and again you don't have to log in uh, by entering your password it, it will automatically take it from there or even if that please remember the password every time you log in into the examination portal from where you will be downloading and uploading the exam paper you need to uh, put in your phone number and an otp goes that's always the two-step verification is happening always so again make sure that phone number which is you which you have given in the ifoa portal login portal my account section you go and you see your mail id and your account, uh, contact number is something which you are using on a daily basis right so uh, that is how examination platform works um, then after that so this is how it will look like this is the mail you will be getting from this particular mail id two weeks before the exam uh, they will be this set up my account you will click on this and then it will be um, I'll show you how it will work. Um, so it is down below. I'll show you the step by step. You can also, it's very, very easy. They have given the pictures. You have to click that and I'll just quickly maybe go and show it to you now itself. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, um,
we have given a list of pictures below in the appendix section yeah this is how it looks like see so this is the mail id from uh, this is the mail id where uh, you will log in you, they will give you this mail id on your mails you will click on this the moment you click on this it will take you to this uh, page wherein you will have to put in your arn the moment you put in your arn it will take you to the next page wherein you have to give your phone number after giving your phone number you will uh, they will ask you to uh, there will be a code you will give that code once you give that code you will create your own password and that's how it just set, sets up so it will ask you to create a password and your account has been set so you can also bookmark this account on your uh, chrome so that you don't have to again and again go to your mail uh, open that uh, particular account you can just uh, click on that uh, the login is this i'll show you this is the online practical exams dot org dot uk this is the platform it is not activated right now please do not go and try it right away unless and until you get the mail from ifoa you will not be able to log into this right because it's not activated yet so once it is done uh, see this is how it works it will give you a code and everything uh, on your mail id on your phone number just like how you log into a basic thing so once you have logged in it will show you all the exams which you are appearing for uh, for example if you are appearing for cm1 it will show individually cm1 paper a and cm1 paper b for both of these you will see this view exam button click on this view exam button then uh, once you click on this view exam this particular part will open up there will be a small box to accept um, all the above details click on that it will take you over here this is a exam material so here when you click on this exam uh, material from here actually you will be able to download a few things related to exam there is this um see yeah so this is the download paper wherein you will be downloading your exam paper and here you will be so whatever word file you have created here you will click on browse to browse through your local uh, uh, local disk from where you will get the file and upload it you it will also give you an option to preview the file first before uploading so you will preview it you will check all the answers are there or not it's there it's correct then click on the submit button um that is how it works so see browse and then it will click you uh, click on this preview so preview is important because uh it helps you to make sure that you are not uh uploading any wrong file so once you click on this preview button uh, the entire doc will open up over here on this portal only just scroll through see all the answers are there or not all the papers are there or not and then you can just if you are not satisfied remove it or if you are satisfied then you can just click on the submit button once you click on the submit button this is a confirmation mail that you get you get it on your mail as well and you get it over there also a confirmation box that your answer script has been submitted right so this is how see this is how it looks like you can preview the entire uh, document and this is the confirmation mail that you are getting that it you submitted this is the upload time this is the document name uh, the size of the document is also given so everything is uh, given to you you also receive a mail this is the mail which you receive confirmation mail once you have submitted and uploaded your folder uh, file sorry so once this is done in case of paper a you have to upload a word file in case of paper b uh, cm1 cm2 it's a excel file in case of cs1 cs2 again it's a word file where you need to copy paste all the codes graphs uh, so answers from the console you are copy pasting as explained in the class uh, once this is done uh, in case of cp2 exam it's word plus excel that you are uploading so there will be an option to select two files together you have to select the two files together click on preview and then submit you don't have to select it individually right they will not give you individual selection time they will they will want you to select it individually now this process is also you can check through equipment check the process is known as equipment check which they have very nicely explained over here i'll show you um yeah so okay this is what they have showed very nicely okay so this is the exam platform that they are saying now here you need to do certain pre exam equipment checks 
these equipment checks are extremely important if you are not doing these equipment checks you will not be able to download your paper upload your answer and all that in your exam so again once you log in and everything i showed you how to log in you will have these two um so every paper like for example if cp2 you have two days exam cp1 you have two days individually they will show you paper 1 paper 2 cm and a cm and b cm 2a cm 2b individually you have to click on this view exam once you click on this view exam see this is the button i was talking about this is equipment check click on this equipment check the moment you click on this equipment check first is the download check click on this download button a pdf will be downloaded open the pdf check whether it's opening or not everything because that is how the same thing will happen on the day of your exam then there is this upload check so in upload check click on the browse button upload the document which you want to again this document has to be a word document and it should not be a blank word document you have you can create your new word document on desktop just write anything a b c d and just save it and close it and from here you can browse open that word file click on this preview to check the preview uh, how like whether it's visible or not and then just click on upload that is your upload and preview check so download check preview check and upload check these are the three checks which you have to do before your examination um so two weeks before you get your mail once you get your mail set up your account do these checks extremely important otherwise on the day of the exam you will not be able to download and upload your answers right so see this is how you upload it and okay so the file name the name of the file i'll show you what will be the name of the file for example if you are appearing for cm1 exam it should be cm1 paper a and then your arn or you can first write your arn cm1 paper a paper b just like that you need to write you need to give your arn which is extremely extremely important right this is your upload once you have completed your upload check and equipment check is done uh, this red bar there will be a red bar on top once you log in there will be a red bar which will be showing that equipment check is not done but once it is done it will be converted into a green bar and it will show that yes you have done the equipment check you can do the equipment check numerous times i get these questions a lot that ma'am can we do it more than once can we do it on another laptop maybe we are changing a laptop two weeks before the exam which you should not but if you are due to certain situations and wanted situations you can do the equipment check again just make sure that on whatever device you are you will be giving your exam you have performed equipment check on that device to make sure all the things are working properly for you right these are your details again the same details this is your examination platform these details should match to the details which is uh, given in your ifa login now for cs1 cs2 and also for cp3 i will say for cs1 cs2 paper b you receive some material two weeks before your examination so for cs1 cs2 r programming you need some csv text excel files uh which you uh, import in your there is also a r data file i have also taught you how to import r data file using the load function so these files you get uh two weeks prior to your examination you get these files in order so that you are able to download uh, import this in your r studio and check whether you are able to do it whether it's opening or not whether the data is visible in your r to keep it ready and on the day of the exam for example my exam is starting at 1 pm then what do i do is at 12 30 itself or 12 uh, 40 around i log in to my portal keep my portal ready and so that as soon as it's 1 pm i can download my paper now why i'm saying to log in 20 30 minutes before because i have seen students logging it like 5 10 minutes before and something happened they are not getting the otp and that that is how they delay 5 to 10 minutes which is something you want to avoid also one thing once you log in into the portal the exam portal uh, using your num phone number otp everything that login like the portal is opened the i think opened for around 6 hours or it's something more than 3 hours 20 minutes for sure so somewhere around 4 to 5 hours the you are logged in you don't have to log in again it's there 
so also once your exam ends you don't have to log in again it's there running in the background you can just after 3 hours 20 minutes go and upload your answer script over there or one hour 50 minutes you don't have to log in again go through the same process of getting otp and everything you can log in keep it over there running in the background and at the end of the exam just go and upload the documents it is not wasting a lot of time so very important to log in your portal 20 30 minutes before also in cs1b cs2b whatever files you have got 3 4 2 3 files just make sure you import it in your r studio and keep it ready so the moment you get your question paper start reading the question appearing for it at that time you are not importing any files just keep it ready i have also mentioned in my paper b classes that if you have five questions make sure you create five different scripts so that it's easy for you so those things i have discussed in the specific classes um itself i will also discuss it again uh, that's not an issue with you all in the class now cp3 those who are appearing for cp3 you get three three uh, working days prior you get your scenario material uh, which you have to read now on the day of the exam make sure your exam start time there are one or two students in past who have screwed this up they have uh, missed the exam timings like they were in a Uh, in a dilemma about uh, five and a half hours, four and a half hours. It's four and a half hours. We are four and a half hours ahead of the UK time. Then uh, make sure you have the examination portal uh, logged in beforehand, twenty thirty minutes before. This is the place. Click on this view exam. The moment you click on this view exam, this will be the exam material. This will only. This will be grey. But at one pm itself, when your exam starts, this will turn into blue. so click on it the moment you click on it um not this exam material sorry this one this exam paper this exam this exam material is basically all the uh, handbooks and everything and in case of cs1b cs2b and cp3 these are your these contains your relevant files uh the files which you need to import and everything and cp3 is the scenario material whereas this exam paper will be gray till 1 pm of your exam start time whatever your exam start time 1 pm 2 pm it will turn into a blue color click on that the moment you click on that your paper gets downloaded um actually when you click on that sorry you click on that and this portal opens up so when you click on this exam paper button it turns blue you click on it the moment you click on it this this uh particular page opens up there is this download paper option click on this download paper option and then your paper will be downloaded if it's in a form of a zip folder uh exam paper plus a answer script whatever it will be getting downloaded unzip it start working on it and then uh once two or uh, three hours 20 minutes is done come over here and browse and upload your answers um now this is what they have mentioned clearly this is the only difference i saw in the handbook in this particular attempt is that in cm1 and cm2 paper b obviously they always give you this exam uh, excel spreadsheet the solution spreadsheet download that please i am i think repeating this for the 100th time please please it's a it's a request please unzip the file and then start working because once you download the paper there it's a it's in a zip folder it contains your exam paper and it contains your spreadsheet sometimes i have seen specifically in cm1 since your first it's your first paper i have seen students just open the spreadsheet starts working over there it is not going to save your work you will lose your entire work unzip it unzip the excel file in your desktop in front it should see you should see that excel file open it then start working continuously save it please it's a deep it's a it's a it's a request theek hai uh cp2 same thing cp2 students are very smart now so they can do this now um for uh, word word exams as well they have also mentioned that they have they will be giving a word answer template wherein you have to appear for exam it's not very clear uh, but i feel they will start giving these word templates another thing you need to add your arn in the file name not within the word document not within the excel file please do not add your arn anywhere else it should be only there in your exam file name right so it should be your arn suppose my arn then just give a dash or a space cm1 paper a 
you can also write paper one, you can write paper two, doesn't matter. But your ARN is something which definitely matters, right? Um, so it should not be included within the files. It should be as the file name. Please turn off the auto save feature. Why I'm telling you? Because uh, generally, what happens, even if you are delaying by one minute to close your file or something, it might change your last modified time. Another thing is OneDrive. I have seen some students saving your files in OneDrive. This is the only reason I'm repeating. Please save your file on desktop. It's in front. You know from where you need to browse, where you need to upload. So it's very crystal clear. So upload it on your desktop, right? Uh, this is there. Um, these things I've discussed in the typing classes. Um, okay. Do not uh, do any kind of password protection in your file. And please make sure you click on this. Okay. So this is the thing that I was talking about that they will give you from this term onwards, they will give you a answer template. So once you download the paper, it will be an exam paper plus a word file. It may or may not be. I'm not very sure, but I think it may be. Um, so it will be, there will be a word file. When Once you have a word file downloaded, click on this enable editing. Then only you will be uh, able to uh, write your answers in the word file. Also, please make sure you know the exact path of your word file wherever you have downloaded it. So it will be downloaded as a zip folder on the desktop, on the downloads, wherever. Unzip it. Know the place where you have unzipped it. Enable editing. At that time only, please, in the candidate ARN part, just write your ARN. Because if your ARN does not go, it will not go for the marking. So make sure you put your ARN, save it, and then start working with it. So yes, this is there. Um, we have talked about this thing. Uploading time, you get plus 30 minutes for uploading. But I will suggest five minutes before only. Close it, save it, and start uploading. Uh, yeah. So, yes, make sure you have this number saved on your cell phones. Um, have some basic, very small amount international recharge done, 100 rupees international recharge done on your phone. Why I'll tell you any, see, it's, it's something which does not happen, but maybe out of 100, one student might experience it. So, 1% students might experience some kind of delay in uploading the paper or something happens. Please quickly call on this number. Tell them your issue. Don't call us because you are wasting your time by calling us, right? So, and we will not be able to help you in that situation any which way. It's only the IFO who will help you. Call them, tell them your situation. My internet is uh, not very stable or it's not. I'm not able to upload. Whatever your problem is, they will guide you what to do next. Either they will give you a code and they will ask you to mail your papers to some mail ID and they will ask you that give that code within the mail ID and mail it. So whatever they say, do that. Please don't call us and waste the time because it's very crucial. Those last few minutes are very crucial. You need to call them directly and ask them whatever, tell them whatever the issue is. And in the meantime, whenever they are picking the call, you can also mail your problem in the exam support at the rate actuaries.org.uk. So make sure you have these mail IDs, these contact numbers saved on your cell phones and have some basic international recharge done. These are some mitigation measures you all can read. These are some mathematical notations which we have already discussed. So yeah, with this, uh, I think we have covered almost everything just to uh, you know always be sure that whether you are able to, uh, you are doing all the things properly. They have given you this beautiful checklist. This was something we used to make it personally for our students, but now they have also done it for you. Um, exam booking is done two weeks before the exam. You need to, you'll get the joining instructions, verify your personal details, do the equipment check, 
download the pre-exam material specifically cs1 cs2 paper b students and cp3 uh, that's three days before um complete the checklist this is the checklist you need to complete then three days before the exam this is for cp3 uh, also please do the retest it equipment so retest the download check upload check preview check on the day of the exam you are doing your work post exam you are submitting it uh, results and appeals okay so now make sure you are carrying out all these things just beautifully tick all the boxes so that you are sure that everything you have covered safely there is nothing that you are missing out because don't ask your friends it's like very clear over here itself whatever doubts you have please you can ask us or you can put down in the comments below uh, we will be answering all the comments or you can raise your queries on aeiq forum um, or you can um, put put down in the comments i think now i don't think there is any doubt but yes please do the download upload and preview check very important for paper b students keep these uh, r files uh, whatever the data files are ready with you make sure you are able to upload that on your r import it in your r and most probably from this time onwards they will be giving you a answer template for paper a as well uh, if yes it's not a very big deal download it unzip it change the name to your arn save the file then start working with it right don't wait last minute to put in your arn because arn is on what basis you get your marks right also please make sure you are uploading it within the time limit if it's a three hours 20 minutes at least i appeared for two three papers online in the online mode so every time i closed my file five minutes before saved it closed it uploaded it just to be mentally very very uh peaceful that i have done everything don't wait for that last 30 minutes thank you so much if you have any queries you can let us know